Hey friends, welcome back to the show. I'm Tim. So I pre-called the customer and he's explained to me that his house was built in the early 50s. And he's got a toilet that's sitting inside of the house that he claims is sitting on a broken flange. This is telling me that that thing is cast iron. So we got our work cut out for us today. Now I've seen other videos on YouTube of gentlemen doing exactly what we're about to do. We're gonna pull this toilet up and then we're gonna clean it and break this old cast iron flange out and put a repair PVC flange in it. I'll catch up to you once we get the toilet pulled and everything's ready to go for the repair. Okay, so the toilet is pulled and as you can see, we have a broken cast iron flange. I've stuffed a rag down in there to keep any debris from falling. We need to get this thing out of here. Oh yeah. Let's pull that thing out of there. It's like an old repair flange. Something. Got to come out. Alright. It's an old repair flange. All right, now that we got that dog ring and ears out of there, there is a ring and it's set in here with old lead and fiber, some oakum. And we got to take and remove this. We have nothing but a straight pipe. old lead piece of it. Oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah. Ah, he saw what I just had to do. I had to get outside for a minute. This guy's a steady, heavy smoker inside of his house, and it was gagging me. But the process I just went through, when they put these cast iron flanges on, they put them on in a ring that had lead in there. A guy used to heat up and melt lead and pour it in there with a ladle along with some fibrous oakum and stuff, and that would seal that uh, to the straight cast iron pipe. We were successful enough to take and remove that flange and the old lead ring and stuff and cut that pipe down about a half an inch so it would be floor level. So when we put our new repair flange in there, everything's gonna be nice and sitting tight. All right, so I'm gonna head back inside. I'm gonna clean the mess up we made and all that dust and stuff, get everything prepped and ready to go. And I'll catch up to you as soon as we're ready to install the new repair flange.
Well, another successful job and another happy customer. A couple few tips to remember if you're gonna to try to tackle this type of job. Safety first. Safety glasses, gloves, masks. You don't wanna breathe all that stuff and you don't wanna beat your body up on while you're doing it as well. And remember, if you get that ring off that had that old lead in there, before you can stuff that new flange down inside the cast iron pipe, you're gonna to have to clean that scaling out or else that thing will never fit down in there. You'll fight with it and fight with it and fight with it and you'll never get it. You get frustrated and you'll end up breaking it. So have patience when you do this type of job. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it, stop what you're doing and call yourself a licensed plumber. Thanks so much for hanging out and don't forget to keep plumbing.